Hi, my name is Rachel Hind, and you're watching Inside City Hall. And today, Chris Lebowski is with us, and she's going to talk to us about a big event coming up. Welcome. Thank you, Rachel. That big event would be our eighth annual e-waste recycling event. This year it's going to be on Saturday, May the 8th. And we're at a new location this year. We're up on Markley Road at the old runway, so just south of the Dean Evans Stadium. Okay, and what is e-waste exactly? E-waste is electronic equipment that's um, past its prime. It's ready to be discarded. And most e-waste ends up in landfills, although the majority of it is recyclable materials. So at events like this, uh, we can have, we have the opportunity to recycle those items. Within the last couple of years, we've expanded what we can accept also. So in addition to our electronics, we're taking almost anything that has a cord or uses a battery. So in addition to your TV and your uh, microwave or computer, you can also bring in things like your power tools and kitchen appliances. So are there any restrictions for who can participate in this event? Absolutely none. Everyone can come. You can come from your home, um, from your small or large business. Uh, we are a drive-through event, so you can bring in any amount. You can come in on a scooter. It's convenient. Bring in yes. Wow. <laughs> one on individual, you can bring in uh, one single event item. Excuse me, or you can bring in a truckload. It's all the same. Drive-through. If you can get it to us, we'll get it unloaded for you, and you'll be out, out and on your way probably ten to ten minutes at the max. Wow, that's impressive. So does it cost to recycle any of these items? At this event, we're not charging anyone for the majority of what we're taking in. However, there is a high cost associated with recycling CRT monitors and CRT televisions. And what, what does CRT mean exactly? Is it the size? Is it? Cathode ray tube. Okay. So when you're thinking of a cathode ray tube monitor or a television that the big old heavy monitors, okay. the big backs on them, and also the projection TVs, which are a very large item. They have, typically have a lot of leaded glass in them, and that is a high, high cost to recycle those items. So on CRT monitors, and um, CRT monitors were starting at $5 a piece for those, mm -hmm. all the way up to $50 a piece for a console television or a projection TV. Okay, so you mentioned that people can recycle their computers if they want to. And when you consider all of the online transactions that happen these days, I imagine that there's some level of concern with some individuals about recycling their computer. What do we do to ensure that their information is safeguarded? There are lots of reasons to be concerned <laughs> about the financial information and social securities and such that's on our, our hard drives. Um, we're concerned about that too. And that is one of the main reasons behind our selecting Midwest Recycling Center to uh, participate in this event with us. They are an R2 certified company, which means that they are held to the highest levels of safety and security with their processes. Any personal information that comes into this event on, on your equipment is required to be destroyed in order for them to maintain that ranking. So in addition to their internal checks and internal um, audits with, within the company itself, they are even subjected to outside um, unscheduled inspections where a ran random hard drives are selected that haven't been destroyed and they are tested by forensic teams to make sure there's wow. no information on them whatsoever. That's great. So far they've passed 100%. So we feel really great. confident in saying that it would be safe to recycle your computers. So tell me how much uh, electronic waste comes through this event every year? Well, last year, for instance, we had over 500 vehicles come through and we recycled approximately 33 tons of waste. Oh my gosh, wow. We've been doing this for about nine years now, and so a total of about 176 tons have come through. That's incredible. That is a lot. It is a lot. And hopefully this year we have more. That, that's our hope. So this seems like a really good opportunity to go through your home or your business and just get rid of all that e-waste you might have laying around. Absolutely. It's fast, it's secure, it's easy. So come on down and see us. All right, we'll see you May 7th.